JP from JP's Tech and Gaming Reviews now. Kind of changed the name up a little bit. I wanted to do a short video on the Verpo Constellation Alpha Prime grip that I picked up. And it took me a little while kind of tossing this around in my head whether or not I should spend the money to pick one of these up or just stay with my 18 and the F16, which I use occasionally because I wasn't sure about the layout. But it turns out it was probably one of the best choices I've made in the joystick in a long time. Not because Thrustmaster makes a terrible product, but a couple of things that I didn't like about it and I do like about it. One, the Thrustmaster is very, very heavy duty. Probably more than what it needs, way more than what it needs. This one, the 18 weighs about 1.14. So one pound 14 ounces in the F16 grip, that's two and a half pounds. And that puts a lot of stress on pretty much any base, whether or not the weight is centered in the middle or not. When you push it forward, pull it back, you can really feel the strain that it kind of like forces down on there. So with the Verpal, we're looking at a much lighter, it's all metal. I guess it's maybe a lighter weight aluminum and the top part over here which looks like the forehead from the movie Alien. It didn't matter to me much about the RGB. I mean I ended up turning it on. I just left it on the stock settings. Whether it's on or off it really doesn't make a big huge difference to me. As far as assigning buttons and binding buttons other than this little joystick on the Verpal. It's similar enough to the 16 where you, with, with just a little bit of muscle memory, you can change things up. The extra buttons on here just came in so handy. Now I fly the 18 most of the time, so I tried to keep things as close as possible as far as I used the China hat on the castle hat that's basically a trim which you use occasionally I don't use it a ton and the china hat on the thrustmaster I ended up putting over here onto this four way which is basically your displays and I found a use for this I ended up putting this up to my slew I kind of go between my joystick and my throttle and that worked out pretty good although I've tr watched every video and I, everything I could find on how to slow the slew down when you move the button and other than really dragging it very slow I mean hardly moving it if you just twitch it flies across the F-18 screen it's something I, I there's got to be a way of adjusting that I just maybe it's in the game maybe it's something to do with software but I wish they would come up with something it gets a little difficult to be able to mark targets but back to the quality the quality on the verbal is it, it's just outstanding not saying that the quality on the thrustmaster isn't they're both fantastic my main concern was the weight and the way it's screwed on over here the verbal base is designed for this hands down is a better fit than the Thrustmaster. Even though it does screw on, it's still night and day. The Verpal also has some little screws down in here. I'm not sure if you can see them. Yeah, I think you can see them. There's three of them. And you get some extra ones in the pack, which comes with a tool. It's just basically a little Allen key that's extra short, and you just fit it in there. And once it's screwed on, you tighten it down. You also get an additional smaller Allen key that you can use to lock the back. And you don't really have to sock it down super tight. It tightens right down. I guess these three push down on the base and keep it firm from moving anywhere else. Fantastic design. And that was one of my biggest issues with this. This would come loose after a little while. Um, a weak use whatever it would definitely start to free itself up a little bit 
and it, it would get a little bit annoying in the middle of the game when you had to stop and try to tighten it. I even ended up using a little bit of plumber's tape on the inside, which kind of did work better for a while. With the Thrustmaster, can cause it to move the shaft a very, very tiny bit. Nothing that you can notice by hand, but in the game, if you really press, you might be able to feel a little, little tiny movement. That was from day one on both of them, I can notice it. So, going to original, reassigning the buttons, and, and this is really what was great. I was able to turn around and assign this button, I ended up turning around and I assigned this to put my, to arm my ejection seat. So I just pop it back, pull it up, done. Instead of using the mouse. Over here, you can go up and down to get your seat where you want it. This one right here, I ended up assigning for toggling your goggles. This is a double, well, other than rolling, I don't know if you can hear it. It has two clicks. The first click, when you push it down, does what it's supposed to do. It's for activating, no, I'm sorry, the second click. The first click, when you push it down, it aligns my track IR. Right on the fly, I can set it right up, boom. The second one is for the RE. CCE button basically that buttons made for if you're feeling a problem with you with the jet a pilot is feeling a problem with the jet from what I can understand I'm not an expert you press that button and it starts recording say your left wing it starts to shake whether it's your flaps your rudder whatever it may be they press and hold this and it records for so many seconds this way it's in their flight box when they get back the maintenance crew can read it and they can determine what's wrong with the plane. Really a good idea, actually. This is all metal, which was a really, really nice thing. They should have done this on the F-14 handle. They should have put a metal one. The F-14 grip, it's all plastic. It's still very sturdy, and they have reinforced all their triggers and everything, and their buttons. They're all new, and they're changed, so... There was a lot of complaints when they first came out about them wiggling, being loose, and, and not working the right way. That's been corrected. I have one over there. We're really not going to get into that. We've done it before. So, as far as assigning everything else, I have this that works with the slew. I haven't thought of anything else I can put it with. Maybe in the future I will. This still works the same for choosing your weapons as with the 18. Just as the 18 has... It's got the button over here on the side for definitely a big difference in the feel of the buttons. The Thrustmaster is has more force on it and it's basically it's like more springy. This one's just a nice clean click. And this right here does the same thing as on the 18. It's for the autopilot and whatnot. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. The quality of it's nice. I love the feel of it instead of the shiny black i much more prefer the feeling of this it's 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 beefier and i don't have a very big hand but my hand fits really just right so other than like the thickness my hand falls perfect on it and it rests on this adjustable palm rest which makes a big difference so i can reach right up and like I said, I don't have a big hand. I'm only five foot six. I can reach all of these buttons on here. This is a four way with a push, four way with a push, a roll up and down with a double push, and the same as a slew. This is a three way, up, down, and in. This right here, it acts as a trigger. Like I said, I assigned it for what I want it for. If you want, you can pull it again and use it to work with the regular trigger. The regular trigger is a dual motion. First click, second click. Same as on the 18. Or the 16, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So all in all, I am really, really happy with this. I'm glad that I picked it up. I can basically use it 
to be very similar to the 18 and the 16 at the same time instead of now if you're looking for originality and you want to keep it as original to the plane you would want to go with the 18 it looks nice I mean there's no denying that this just stands out from well not like this doesn't stand out but when you look at this you know it's an F-18 grip you when you look at that it it's an F-16. So I don't know how much more there is to say about it other than if you like RGB, there's RGB on the sides. There's RGB all around the top. You can change the color to anything you want. Like I said, I just turned it on and it just went whatever color. Kind of like orange, red, blue. Blue at the top and fades out over here or something like that. Really nice looking. And I'm very happy with the handle. It screws on. I bolt it down like I said you tighten that up if you want it if you want to loosen it you can use it if you don't have a rudder I guess you can use it for a rudder but I do have rudder pedals so yeah I just wanted to touch base on that I'm very happy with the Verpal if you're not looking for a one-to-one -one, if you're not looking for originality you, you really you can't go wrong going with the Verpal it, it's outstanding with a little bit of muscle memory, you can get everything working. Just like on the regular one, this is the release. I mean, it's all good. It's 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 outstanding. The threads are the same, like I said, the threads are the same on a Thrustmaster. But it just doesn't fit the same on the Verpal. You can screw it on, you can tighten it up, you can use it but it doesn't stay the same as this does. When you put this on, you tighten those three Allen screws down, you lock this in place, all loosen it, whatever you choose to do, it's not going nowhere. It's there to stay, and it just feels fantastic in your hand. Good job, Verpal. They, they did a great job designing it. It's chonky, it's beefy, it works, it feels good, and it does the trick. I got a couple people who already want to try to get me to sell this, but I, I really don't think I want to. My luck, I will, and then I'll need something. So anyways, I'm going to wrap the video up with that, people. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, give me a sub. On that note, we're going to be signing off. I hope somebody gets something out of this. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I always get back to everybody. I do my best, at least. And other than that, have a great weekend, people. It's coming up quick. Peace out.